Hey everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to part six. So in part five of the kindness flag project, I um, did the uh, flower. I started the flower petals. So this is what that looks like with the bullion knots. And I think I'm going to zoom you in just, just the teensiest bit. Hold on. E, that didn't work. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. All right. So there are the bullion knots. And I think that came out really well. I'll do more flowers that way. Then I did stem stitch down and back up again here. And I did a couple of leaves here. So I'm going to continue on with the leaves. I also sewed this down. And what I want to do is attach bells to the bottom here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also have to still um, sew these on. Nope, wrong way. Okay. Sure. I hope this finds everybody well. And I want to welcome any newcomers. I think I have a few messages. Now, I am actually filming this about a week ahead of time from when you're going to see it. And, ow. <laughs> um, I am... Now see, I just did these like an hour ago and now I can't remember how to do them. Okay, so I am doing this on the same day that I did the part five. And this is actually flag number three, but I've just today published, the day I'm filming this, published the um, first video and I've gotten some very lovely responses that I want to thank you all for that people seem to be interested in doing this project and I that I can't explain to you how excited that makes me I'm really really very pleased that anyone <laughs> wants to join me in this project that that's just thrilling to me just please to punch as they say and yes i'm very excited the more kind happy peace that we can send out into the world the better off we will yeah we will all be um, and again, I am trying out my new setup with the iPad and the phone, and I'm hoping that these videos come out well. I'm going to just do one, one more small one on the bottom here. Now, I got this stitch from the little booklet I show in the previous video. And I am linking the book in the previous video, the little booklet, this booklet here. But I am not an Amazon affiliate, so I won't get anything from showing you this at all. I'm just, I, I found it extremely helpful and useful, and so I'm just sharing. That, that's all. <laughs> that's all, folks. And I just got off the phone. Oh, the sun is out again. Yay. It got very dark and cloudy here for a moment. Well, several moments, like the last two hours. Three hours, maybe? I just got off the phone with my cousin. I spent an hour on the phone speaking with her about some, you know, ancestry stuff. So that was fun. I'm going to do two leaves on this one like I did on that one, I think. Yeah, why not? Eh, 
I'll do one. And if I want to add any more later, I will. I will do that. I like that I added two leaves up here. Looks a little awkward having them both um, on the end of the thing. I should have put one down here and one up there, but you know, the, the, this is playing and I'm experimenting and this is gonna go more than likely hang outside and be blowing in the wind and sending all kinds of joyfulness. Well, that's kind of bad. That's not really. That's a, that's a, whoa, that's a teensy bit far away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this back out and pull that one out and sort of redo it. Because right? it's a little off kilter from where it needs to be. Which one is that? Where did that come from, that side? Goodness, but I found out information that I wasn't aware of before, so that's interesting. <laughs> Family secrets and all that good stuff. Yeah. And the only reason I'm getting into it now is um, my older brother has been asking me questions, but none of us three kids, me, Norm, either of my two brothers, one of whom is deceased now, uh, really know much about our father's side of the family. Now, my cousin that I communicate with fairly regularly is on the mother's side of the family, our mother's side of the family. Don't know, don't know why I said the. And... So she has a lot of information about that side. But, um, <clears throat> sorry for my throat being froggy. I had a snack before I started this, and obviously I should have had something to drink. <laughs> so she has a lot of information about our mother's side. However, our father's side is a little bit of a mystery. Our dad passed away back in 1976, and my mother passed away in 89, and not a lot was talked about. So as far as history, well, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? But anyway, maybe I'll put another one down here, sort of offset it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just yammering on and making leaves here. I'm also kind of thinking about how the heck am I going to attach the bells, but I know it'll work out because, you know, it always does. Something always comes to me. Wait, what did I do there? That was awkward. That's not how it was supposed to go. <laughs> uh, give me a different direction and I'll mess it up every time. Okay. Anyhow, it was fun talking to her, but one of my brother's memories from when he was quite young, he had to be, he was probably maybe six or seven, I imagine maybe eight, and the other brother was probably six. They were two years apart. Um, he thought that possibly a trip he took with one of our aunts, or aunts, if that's how you're used to saying it, um, who was on our mother's side of the family, he thought one of those trips, where am I going? This is so not right. Excuse me while I um, tear this out once again. Because <laughs> this is not going to be anywhere near that stem if I go in that direction. <sighs> See? Just not concentrating. 
I would just be quiet. Okay, so he was reminiscing about a trip he took when he and my other brother were young, very young, and he thinks the trip was to our father's, to a farm our father's family may have owned. And I said, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't seem like our mother's side of the family would have taken you to a farm that belonged to our father's side of the family. And I did it again. I have to start over. So he, I envy those of you that can tell great stories <laughs> and do this at the same time. I do not have that, that ability. So he had called me with that story last night and I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't, well, I'm sure that has to be what it was. I'm like, mm. I don't know. It, it doesn't sound right, but I wasn't around. I mean, I was not even a glimmer in my parents' eye at that point with 10 years between us, you know. And so the when I spoke to my cousin about it, she's like, oh, no, we had family up in that area. I know exactly where they went. So I thought that was interesting, and I will have to call him and pass that on to him. I don't know if he'll be pleased about it. Okay. All right, so I went ahead in this, for heaven's sakes, Martha, in this direction, like that. So I will. Do it from here. I mean, yeah, he may not want to hear that it didn't have anything to do with our father. It was our mother's side of the family that was uh, owned that farm. But anyway, it's all good. It's fun catching up with family that um, I did not see. All, all these people were in Maine. And my cousin is in Maine, so she has, her dad was my uh, mom's brother, older brother. My mom was the youngest of five. So, and there's actually information about the family that she told me that my mom and her father didn't know about because they were young when it happened. So I found that interesting as well. And um, I'm going to do some more digging. Probably some through Ancestry, and I am a member of 23andMe. Um, they're the ones that told me I'm 93.5% British and Irish. And I'm 4.7% German and French. Go figure. No wonder I like language so much. <laughs> we lived in Germany for seven years and I didn't know I was part German. Would have been fun to know back then. Where did this... Okay, I know where that came from. Yeah, well, now I have to put a second leaf on here because, you know, it's just not going to look right if I don't. So I'll do one over here. Ooh, that's going to be a big one if I do it there. Okay. No, it won't, because I'll go down that way. So, fun learning uh, about information like that. And, um, yeah. I mean, I'm 67. My brother will be 77 in September, I believe. My birthday was in May. And I know he's 10 years older, but I think the 10 years comes, you know, 
There's nine years difference between May and September. So let's just do that. Well, that isn't right either, but okay, Martha. I don't know what the heck you're doing. I'm leaving it. I'm not tearing any more out. <laughs> I seem to be dysfunctional right now. Then I was... Oh, golly gee whizzikers. Now I have to tear it out. So that's two stitches I did wrong. Anywho. Yeah. I have found... So for those of you that don't know, after I had breast cancer in 2021, I decided to totally change my diet and I eat very, very little processed food. I even try to um, cook my own beans from scratch and lentils and quinoa and we eat a lot of vegetables and of course, some of the vegetables are processed, but they're like just frozen. You know, that when I say processed, it's prepared by a plant, but it's plain and it's frozen. So it doesn't have any additives or anything like that, supposedly. And that's what I aim for. But I was in the grocery store yesterday and we... Tony went looking for something, and I went down this other aisle of healthy, healthy chips. Well, I'm a big potato chip fan. In fact, on Fridays, which I'm filming this on a Friday, I have <laughs> fried potato Friday. They're not really fried most of the time. Occasionally, I will fry in avocado oil, but I usually roast them in the oven. That's how I usually do my potatoes on Fridays. And I usually do that one other night of the week as well, not just Fridays. Okay, well, now we have to move on to the part that I was uh, sort of procrastinating about. Okay. So, um, I don't know if I want that there and this here. Or if I want that there, it actually fits a little better there. And this here. And I have to tell you, some of my ink that I marked this stem and these leaves with, and the flower with, and then I had traced um, a butterfly, my ink has not come out with the iron. I don't know if you can, if you can see very well if I put it under the light, but that, ink there hasn't come out. I'm a little upset about that. And I'm using the friction pens, the heat erasable pens. I used this one here. Friction clicker. It's a heat erasable pen. I ironed this thing at least five times and it didn't all come out. So there are marks on here. It's okay. I'm just going to put it outside and it'll be fine, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I will be extremely cautious about marking my fabrics from now on with these pens. I'm gonna be 100% sure that whatever I'm putting down in ink, yeah, I'll do that and that'll cover up some of those marks and I'll have to put that one there. Okay, that's what we'll do. Um, now, do I try and cut that black outline out or not? Oy, oy, oy. Martha. Okay, I'm holding my breath, so you're going to have to bear with me for a minute. Yeah, so I found these potato chips. They're Siete potato chips. But they're not the ones made with almond flour. They're literally potatoes, avocado oil, and sea salt. And I have not had a regular potato chip, like a real potato chip potato chip, since I went vegan. Because they usually use really bad 
Oh, <laughs> I snipped it. Okay, well, you know what? We'll just have to put those on by hand. Because there went that antenna. Um, they're usually made with very bad oil. And I am trying so hard to eat healthy. Now if I could just get the exercise part down. But anyway, we won't mention exercise. Because I'm very bad about it. And I, I know I am bad about it. So, um, yeah, we, we've been eating very healthy. Tony eats, um, crackers, seeded crackers, and I can't remember what they're called. I think they're Mary's seeded crackers, but I don't eat them. And... Let, let me, I'm going to move you just a tad. Okay. I think that'll work. All right. So I was going to put this over there, right? And I'll have to put little antennae <laughs> on that thing. Now, where's that? This is the thread I was going to use. I'm going to try... I don't know if this needle is small enough. I think that needle might be too big even. Um, I found these chips, and since all they have in them is potatoes, avocado oil, and sea salt, I will say they're a little too salty. And for me, I put salt on everything. So for me to say it, they're salty, they're a bit too salty. <laughs> but... I made hummus today. Hummus. Now, I don't make my hummus the traditional way because I don't like tahini. There, I said it. I don't like tahini. But, um, it was very good. I use just chickpeas and I use lemon and a little uh, Celtic sea salt. And I use, um, trying to figure out what I want to do here, but I'm talking. And let's see, chickpeas, sea salt, olive oil. I used olive oil and half a lemon for a full can of chickpeas. And I don't use tahini. And a little onion powder. I forgot to add the onion powder, but I added it after and stirred it in. And I had a little hummus with my salad at lunch. But then I took some of those potato chips that I'm talking about. And uh, used the hummus as a dip. Oh, it was so good. So good. Being bad. I'm being very bad. So those chips will not be in the shopping cart, uh, you know, every week. No. And the funny part is there's like no cholesterol, no this, no that. Um, sodium. Sodium and potatoes and avocado oil. <laughs> that's, that's, those are the worst things in that, in the, the chips. And you can have something like 15 chips for 140 calories. And I'm like, <sighs> okay, nope. I don't eat, I'm really good. Like if something says it's a, this many is a serving, I'm really good at not um, overdoing that. Like I can limit myself. In fact, I do way better if something says you're only supposed to have this many of it. I can actually function that way and have a little. It doesn't mean that I'm not craving it and can't wait to get back to it again. But... I do pretty well with it when it's, um, when it's that, you know, when there's a, when I limit myself, it's actually way easier for me. Whereas Tony has just the opposite problem. Like he finds something he likes and he will eat it and eat it and eat it until the package is gone in two days. And when he found these crackers, 
we actually had these crackers at a friend's house when we went to New York and visited, visited with a friend of Tony's that he grew up with. And um, they had absolutely no problem with the fact that we were vegan and they had food for us to eat, which, I mean, was wonderful. And so, and I don't do soy. I don't do um, any kind of soy, milk or meat substitutes or anything. Like I don't go to Burger King and get the Impossible Burger. I don't eat Impossible Meat because it's really not supposed to be very good for you. Along with the fact that, uh, you know, it's just, it's soy. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I don't have any of that. But, I mean, I love potato chips. I have always loved potato chips. And I know they're not the best for you. I know it's a very bad habit, but it's okay. I, I, I'm limiting myself, but I'm enjoying them. This package will last me probably a week, maybe more. It's a very small package, let me tell you. It's not a single size package. I think there's six servings in it. So even if I have a full serving, which I haven't had yet, I have not had 15 chips in a row, and I've only had the package two days. Um, you know, if I had the full serving every day for six days, then the package would be gone because there's six servings in it. But I'm not even eating that many, so it's okay. They are really salty, though. I, I mean, like I said, I salt everything, and um, I can taste the salt from them in my mouth as I'm speaking of them. So they are a tad bit salty. I wish they had an unsalted version, just potatoes and avocado oil. You do the slicing and the, and the cooking and I'll eat those puppies. But tonight will be roasted potato night and whoopsies probably roasted veggies, which consist of broccoli, cauliflower, not a lot of cauliflower. I don't love it, but, um, and Tony doesn't like a lot of seasoning. So if he's eating with me, I don't put the paprika, onion, I make a mix with paprika, onion powder, um, Paprika, onion powder, and some salt, sea salt in it. Not a lot of salt, but he doesn't like that. So I put that on the potatoes and avocado oil, and we pop that into a hot oven. And in about 20 minutes, we have yummy roasted veggies. So I have the roasted potatoes in a separate pan. I try and do them in a a pan that I have that is a uh, for an air fryer but usually Tony has potatoes in the oven uh, baking for himself before uh, I had to end it there didn't I um, during the time I'm trying to bake the other potatoes so I can't use the air fryer for my potatoes but that's okay they, they roast up the same in a big oven as they do in our little air fryer oven. And I don't use a, a, like a countertop air fryer. I researched which air fryers or toaster ovens with air fryers were the least toxic. And we have one of those, so. Okay, that's good. It's not, you know, 100% thread painted with silver and gray and yellow like the actual fabric butterfly was, but that's okay, I am. 
I'm okay with that. Again, I want this to be zen and happy and, you know, be a symbol of what makes me, brings me joy. And that's all it's supposed to be about. As I send joy out into the world, you have to have some joy in order to send it out into the world. Oh, I don't want yellow. Gee, Martha, what are you thinking? Gosh, not what I wanted. Sorry. Bear with me. I have to get the uh, dragonfly colors out. Okay, I'll put that up. Now, I'm trying to think. What's that? I think I have a variegated that I used for dragonfly before, but can I, was that it or was it not? Hmm. Where are you? You're probably going, it's there, it's there. I do not see it. I think it was this. Is that what I used? Mm, it's got blues and greens in it. I think I'll use that. I think I have two of them. So I'll bring that one out in case I use up the first one, which I don't think I will. Pretty sure that's what I did. I'm sure there are other colors that would work. Sorry. Even though I'm mirroring and I can see what I'm recording, I, I'm frantic about either the iPad turning off or the mirroring app I'm using turning off or something because I did walk away when um, I was done recording. I walked away for a little bit. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I went and had lunch. Um, <laughs> uh, when I recorded the one that, uh, the first part of this flag and I gotta see how many threads I have here, three. And um, when I came back, I left everything connected. And when I came back, it had um, disconnected the mirroring. So I don't, you know, I don't want to let anything go and have it run out. In fact, I should probably plug my iPad in, otherwise my camera might die on me, but I'm gonna take my chances at this point. Hmm. Do I wanna try and trim this a little more too? Maybe. Although I don't wanna to go too nuts. I don't wanna cut anything off like I did with the butterfly. Oh, I didn't put the antenna on the butterfly. Okay, we'll go back and do that. Gee, this one might be a three-parter. I'm not getting done quite as quickly as I'd like to. Okay, come on. Gotta get on with the show here, Martha. So if you are playing along, let me know what ideas you're using, what colors you're using for whatever, like if you're choosing a word and a color like I am, let me know. Let me know what you're doing. You know, um, yellow is my joy color. Um, and I'm just going to very loosely, or not, second stitch, and I got to get a knot. I mean, why? Why does this always happen to me? I don't know. If any of you experts out there know why this happens to me so often, let me know. Yeah, let me know in the comments if, you know, you used red for love, or did you use pink, or did you use green, or did you use yellow, or let me know what words you're choosing. Let me know um, what your thoughts are when you're making these. And I'd love to hear your interpretation 
of doing this? Are you following along with me? Are you kind of doing your own thing? Are you um, making them a different size? Yeah, I, I'd be really interested in knowing what you're doing. If you have, you know, like an Instagram or a YouTube channel or a um, somewhere else, Flickr or something that you post on, photos of your items that you make, let me know. Do a linky dink below and tell me what that is. I would love to know what your interpretation of all of this is. And if you're sort of going along with the same I'm doing, then let me know that too. Because how exciting would that be that I'm actually inspiring other people to do something fun and crafty and creative and, and sending all kinds of happy, joyous, peaceful, kindness thoughts into the world. I've heard from people in my comments after the first video has been released today that I didn't know were following me. So I'm extremely grateful for you being here and for you joining in. I love it. Okay. You can't go over there. You don't belong over there. Stop. Let go. Okay, it's getting close to dinner time. Well, we're about an hour away, but I have to be able to finish this and get my dinner ready. It takes a while to get those potatoes going. But that's okay. I enjoy spending time with everybody out there. I'm grateful you're here with me as I keep saying over and over because honestly I really am just just so grateful. And this project is bringing me such joy to do. So I was thinking about, like I didn't get to work on a flag yesterday. And I was laying in bed last night thinking, okay, joy. What am I going to do for joy? And I thought, joy is like happy, happiness, I love my butterflies. I love nature. I love um, beautiful, bright, vibrant colors. I don't wear them as clothing, but I love working with them. And, you know, if other people wear them, I am so not a yellow person. But, yeah. Um... And I just really thought, I got to do yellow. I'm doing yellow for joy. It's just perfect. And I'm jumping around here because, as you see, the thread is turning blue in this variegation. I'm thinking I should have put a little of the blue over there. So I might, well, now it's turning back to other color. I was going to say, I might jump over there and put a couple blue strands in. Oops, <laughs> Martha. If I had tried to come back up through that hole, I couldn't have done it, right? And yet, there it is. I'll go back up this way. Now that the color is changing a little again. All 
day, I have heard this engine running, and it's like a, um, sounds like a generator motor to me. I don't know if somebody's got their generator on. What's going on? It was funny because I went to record this video after I recorded part five. I wanted to start part six, and uh, I couldn't. The, the lady next door who rents the house, she had a workman over there, and he was, I don't know what he was using. If it was, um, it was some sort of tool that was like, <laughs> right? And, and I'm like, it sounded exactly like he was doing it to the side of our house. I'm thinking, what the heck? I couldn't even see the guy. I don't know if he was inside her house. And I'm just going to keep it this way. And the noise was carrying, or if he was on her roof, I couldn't see him. And I, you know, my the windows that I could see out of only faced the side of the house her side of the house. So I should say the side of her house. So, um, yeah, it was like, <laughs> I'm, I was trying to figure out what this guy was doing and why it sounded like he was doing it to our house. <sighs> and then the lady on the other side, she was having air conditioner repair work done. So they were making noise. It just got, and then somebody was uh, mowing and weed whacking. <laughs> uh, the joys of trying to film. But it's okay because here I am. And it's all working out. And it's all good. We're good. It's a-okay. Woof. And if any of you came over from Christine, uh, Create and Craft with Christine, because she listed a whole slew of, there must have been 10, 10 people she linked to, of um, people she watches. And <clears throat> if any of you are here from that, welcome. I appreciate you checking me out and possibly doing this with me. So she is a wonderful person. I can't believe she doesn't have more followers. And I have linked her channel in my videos numerous times. Hi, Christine. Ow. <laughs> Don't grab the needle that way, it hurts. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat. The sun came out for a little bit. It's gone once again. Okay, this is getting up there in time. Oi, oi, oi. I'm going to have to hurry up and finish this dragonfly. I may have to do the bells off camera, um, or this is going to be a really long video. If I don't, I may do them as an add-on to the end of the video, um, but I'll have to do it at a later time, if that makes sense. I'll film it later, but I will add it on before I post the video. I guess that's what I was trying to say. So, And we're back to blue again, but the blue doesn't last very long. But it's okay. I like the the variation it gives. That's not what I wanted to do. And I'm running out of thread anyway. Maybe I can squeeze these out, finish this, and I can get those bells on without rushing too much. Maybe. I'm going to try. I promise I'll try. 
because I haven't used bells on any of them yet, but I want to. So this one won't have fringe or tassels or more, more accurately strips of fabric that I've used on the other two. This one won't have that, but it's going to have this, um, the bells uh, hanging off the edge. How many bells? I don't know. It depends on how crazy it makes me to do the bells. <laughs> we shall see. I, I sort of have an idea in my brain of how to do it, but that doesn't mean it's going to work because <laughs> I have not tried yet. Okay. I very simply painted wings. Now I just have to do the body. But I need new thread anyway. Now, I think, I wonder what it would look like um, if I used, whoa, whoa, almost lost it. I don't know if I want the yellow in there. That's blue and green. I think I'm gonna try that for the body. We'll see. Of course, I need a, another needle because this one's way too small. Um, big eye. We need a big eye. Now, hopefully this works. Let's cross our fingers once again, as we like to do for me, that... coming up with an idea that actually might possibly work. And yeah, I know, I probably cheated by doing it this way, but you saw what happened when I drew and I couldn't get rid of the ink. If I make a mistake, then I'm gonna be very unhappy because I've marred up my fabric that I can't get the marks out of. Oof, that's a long thread. <laughs> it's about as far back as I can put my arm behind me, behind and beside me. Okay. That tail, that tail wants to get, be a part of every single thing I do on this thing. <clears throat> Gosh, please don't, ah. Well, now I'm in trouble. There we go. I had a knot above the knot. Go figure that. Alrighty, I need to stop rushing. That's what I need to do. I either fit it all in or I don't, you know? I can always finish the video later or tomorrow, Martha. Quit rushing, it's supposed to be a pleasant project. Now, the question is, that would be a heck of a long bullion knot, wouldn't it? And my needle is not long enough. However, I could do one here. Go. 
Okay. I think that will do it. Come on. There we go. Okay, hold it firmly and pull. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I just want to firm that up. Now, what do I do on each side? Do I do a couple knots? I guess I'll try that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do another, like I did on the flowers, I'll do a smaller bullion, bullion, bullion. Needs to be just long enough to fill that space. Not so long that it, it might be too long. I'm gonna go with eight. The only reason I need to count is because I want the one on the other side to match. Get out of there. <laughs> Golly, that tail is just, I probably should have stitched the tail down first. It has been a royal pain in the patootie. Oh, I like that because one is the center is green and the side is blue. Very cool. Well, this one's gonna pop, come out green though. Too bad there's not more blue showing. That's okay. Come on. Very good. Whoa, you little tail. All right, now I'm gonna do French knots down the tail. Just cause, just cause I'm good at that part. Well, I say that, not that good. been practicing them a lot though. If you saw my uh, 100 hearts in 100 days, I did, let's see, three different hearts that were lots and lots and lots of French knots. So I did get a little better. Of course, that one's not straight at all. <laughs> That's okay. The dragonfly's body sort of curves a little bit. I also have to add the word joy. So there's that too. Well, this is going to be, because I'm at almost an hour. I think what I'm going to do, I don't know, because I won't have really enough to do a part three. I only want two more. I really won't have enough to do a part three. So for this flag, when I say part three, um, so I think maybe, okay. I'm 
pretty happy with that. Is it perfect? No. Am I entering a competition with this? No. Is the universe happy with me? Yes. Yes, it is. Because that's what this is about, is sending good thoughts, being positive, and being kind to myself, being kind to others. Okay. All righty. So we're going to put that over there, jab that down there. Now, the question is... How am I going to attach those darn bells? <laughs> As I said, <laughs> I did not pre-figure this out, if that makes any sense. Now, I'm going to have to find the bells first. Okay. Hang on, because... This is where it's going to get interesting. There it goes. Now, I don't have that many of these little tiny so, uh, gold ball, bells. Gold uh, bells. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I put ten across here, that would be pretty nice, right? I mean, that's... There's a cardinal singing to me. Can you hear him? I think that's going to be perfect, actually. So let me... What do I do with the tube? Okay. Better put the cover on it, Martha, or the little ones will go flying. I think this is going to be perfect. So, let's see. The question is, how am I going to... Okay, that fits through there fine. I can use this needle. I have an idea of how I want it to look. It's just executing the procedure here in order to... <clears throat> okay, well, I wasn't trying for a knot there, but I got a knot anyway. <laughs> Don't know how. I'll just snip all that off, make a proper knot. All right, so I'm going to start in the middle. No, I can't start in the middle. I have 10, so five on each side. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh oh. Did I lose it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I not count ten out? Did I lose one? All right, well, we have nine. Okay, so I can start in the middle. Sometimes for me, starting in the center is the easiest way. So I do right there. So I'm going to attach my knot up here into the back of the fabric. And then I'm going to go down here. We're starting in the middle might not have been the smartest idea because I want to go across, but I'll just have to go across one way. And let it hang down about there. I think I'm going to go through it twice so it mm, more or less stays where it's supposed to, if that makes any sense. Yeah, like that. And then do I go back up through the same one? Or do I go to the next one? We're going to see. <laughs> We're going to give it the old college try here, okay? And then I think I would have to... I didn't measure these out. Am I going to be sorry? One, two, three, four, five. That might be too far over. All right, let's go back through there. 
Breathe, Martha. Not supposed to be stressful, right? So, mm, that might be all right, right there. Hold on. I can't make them too close because then they won't ring, but they're going to be hanging down here. All right. They want to go right there. That might be where I was before. And if it was, I, I apologize. Like I said, I haven't done this before. It's just an idea I came up with that I'm hoping will work. And it's kind of, sort of, what I'm picturing. Okay, that worked. Let's not lose any more of these. Let's put them all up here until I get the one I need. Because, you know, I'm sure I counted 10, but me and math. All right. So I want that to hang about the same length down, right? So we're gonna, whoa! And do that. And we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna do the same thing here that we did on the next one. We're gonna make a loop-de-loop. -loop. Sort of make a knot out of it. I don't know, this probably looks like a huge mess on camera, but. So I have one, two, I have three more to do, right? Man, I just had the weirdest deja vu, like, thing happen. <sighs> I hate when that happens. It freaks me out. Like I've been here and done this before. Ugh. Really flips me out when I go through those. <laughs> I don't like it. Sorry, I'm concentrating here, so. I've gone quiet, but I'm trying to get this done. And I think what I'll do is when I put the word on, I'll have to come back and um, show you in the next video the completed or do a picture, a photograph at the end of this video. So if you want to see the completed uh, flag, I will probably do both. I'll probably show you in the next video. Um, oops. Oh, shoot. See, got to talking instead of concentrating. Um, I will take a photograph of it when I finish it, put it, at, edit it in at the end of this video, and then I will um, show you in the beginning of the next video the completed ones. Come on. Yay. Okay. Well, they're all different lengths. I don't know if this will show up on camera or not. And they may get tangled because they're long. Who knows? But that's what they look like. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of this, and I will put a photograph of the completed part at the end, or maybe a quick video of the completed flag at the end. So I hope 
that you are enjoying this series. I am very grateful and love you all for being here. And if you see fit, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that too. And I will see you on the next one. Happy crafting, everybody. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. And I love you all. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. So this is the finished um, project for flag number three. And it's part six of the series. I'm sticking this at the tail end of the previous or of the video, the part six video. Um, and I had to shorten the bells. They were getting all tangled in each other and then it was a mess. So I shortened them quite a bit. Hear that? <laughs> and I, um, let me zoom in a little. There we go. I stitched the butterfly. I stitched the back down and there's one stitch showing there, but you know, I'm not fussed about that. I finished the dragonfly. I did the leaves on here and I stitched the word joy over here. And I attached this by sewing it um, on the sides and across the top. I did a little bit across these areas here just to hold it down. And I got the bells done. So when that hangs, if the wind blows, there will be very gentle, joyful ringing going out on the breeze to the world, into the universe, sending joy and peace and love because those are the other two flags that I've got done. So there it is. That is the third flag. I don't know how many I'm making. I haven't decided that yet. So I just want to say... Thank you for joining me on this journey. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.